Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, three problems I have completed on linear programming problems by graphical method. Now in this video, fourth problem I'm going to explain. In the last three problems, only two constraints were there. But in this problem, we come across three constraints. So the procedure will remain same, but you have to identify which two lines are intersecting on the graph. So, if you want a complete perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Don't join in between, don't skip in between. If you have some patience, if you are writing down the notes which I am explaining, then definitely, confidently, you can face the examination of all. Now, before starting the fourth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain. Now, <clears throat> see the fourth problem. <clears throat> Solve the following using graphical method. The already formulated problem is given. Previous three problems we have formulated. But here formulated problem is given. Simply we have to solve it by using graphical method. So solve the following using graphical method. Maximize z is equal to 9x plus 10y. So you can see here. Maximize z is equal to 9x plus 10y. Here the decision variables are x and y. Now subject to the constraints are 11x plus 9y is less than or equal to 9900. So 11x plus 9y less than or equal to. Here only less than is given. Make it less than and equal to 9900. And second constraint, 7x plus 12y less than and equal to 8400. Here mark is only for less than. Make it less than and equal to like this. 7x plus 12y less than equal to 8400. Now third constraint, 6x plus 16y less than and equal to 9600. So make it less than and equal to 9600. And last one, x1 greater than equal to 0. x1 is greater than and equal to. Make it like this. x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0. That's all. This is the complete problem given in the question. Non-negativity restriction, x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0. Now, for graphical method, first we have to convert the inequalities into equations. And then find out the coordinates of x and y. So converting the inequalities into equations and finding the coordinates. First inequality is 11x plus 9y less than or equal to 900. Now inequality, I am converting it into equation is equal to 11x plus 9y is equal to 9900. First of all, let x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, the 11 into 0 will become 0. So 9y is equal to 9900. The so y is equal to 9900 by 9, 1100. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1100. The so coordinates will be 0, 1100. Similarly, when y is equal to 0, if we take y is equal to 0, the so 9 into 0 will become 0. So 11x is equal to 9900. x is equal to 9900 by 11. It comes to 900. The coordinates are 900 comma 0. Because x is 900 and y is 0. That's all. The first inequality we have converted into equation and we have calculated the coordinates. Similarly, we take the second inequality. 7x plus 12y less than or equal to 8400. Or 7x plus 12y is equal to 8400. Converted into equality. Suppose let x is equal to 0. So 12y is equal to 8400. y is equal to 8400 by 12. It is 700. So coordinates are 0, 700. When x is 0, y is 700. Similarly, when y is equal to 0, then uh, y is equal to 0 if we take 
then 7x is equal to 8400 x is equal to 8400 by 7 you will get 1200 the coordinates will be x 1200 y 0 that's all two inequalities we have converted into equations and we have found out the coordinates now third one the third inequality is 6x plus 16y less than equal to 9600 now we convert into equation 6x plus 16y 9600 let x is equal to 0 so 16 y is equal to 9600 y is equal to 9600 by 16 you will get 600 so when x is 0 y is 600 now let us suppose y is equal to 0 then what will happen 6x is equal to 9600 x is equal to 9600 by 6 1600 so x is equal to 1600 y is equal to 0 we have calculated all the coordinates of all the inequalities now we have to take the scale on x axis what is the 1 cm is equal to how many units now it depends on what is the size of x and y see x is 0 900 then here we have 0 then 1200 then 0 then 1600 the so x highest value is 1600 so we cannot take 1 cm or 1 unit because 1600 units are there so if we divide the 1600 by 10 by 10 it will become 160 so better to take 1 centimeter 2 units uh, 200 units 1 centimeter 200 units so 1600 divided by 200 in 8 centimeter we can be able to get so what we take 1 centimeter is equal to 200 units so in 8 centimeter we will get 1600 8 centimeter will get 1600 so it is better it is convenient to take 1 centimeter 200 units on x axis on y axis see what is the highest value of y 1100 0 700 0 then 600 then 0 the highest is 1100 so 1100 means we will take uh, 100 units because if we take 100 units 1 cm, 11 cm we can get 1100. So 11 cm is okay. 10 cm, 11 cm graph is legible graph. So what we take? 1 cm is equal to 100. Even you can take 200 also. But the graph will become very close. Very small graph. It will become, uh, it will not be easily understandable if we take 200. Because highest value is 1100. Huh? X axis 1600 units are there. That's why we have taken 200. On Y axis only 1100 is there. So 100 units. That's it. Now here graph. Now origin. X axis 200, 400, 600, 8, 1000, 1200, 1400, 1600. So highest value is 1600 on X axis. On y-axis, 100, 200, 300, 400, like that up to 1100. Because highest value is 1100 on y-axis. <coughs> now we have to plot the points. The points are, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1100. So here x is 0, y is 1100. 1100 is here. So 1100, I have put a mark, right? Then second one, x is 900, y is 0. So x is uh, here, 900. 900 is here. Now these two points, I have to join with the scale. And this we mark is as first equation. This is the first inequality. This is the first inequality. Right? First line we have drawn. It is less than equal to. The inequality is less than equal to. That's why downward arrow. This is downward. So first coordinate we have plotted. Now second coordinate. 0, 700. X is 0, Y is 700. This X is 0, Y is 700. 700 is here. Right? Second, when X is 1200, Y is 0. So this Y is 0, this is Y, and this is X. When X is 0, uh, oh, sorry, X is 1200, y is 0 this y is 0 x is 1200 1200 is here so 1200 
and there it is 700 so this 1200 and 700 this is the second line write it down second coordinate this one yes second coordinate now join these two two points extend it and less than equal less than that third inequality x1 is 0 uh, sorry x is 0 y is 600 so this is 600 put a mark at 600 right when x is 11, uh, 1600 y is 0 so y is 0 here 1600 now join these two points and uh, write it down as third inequality number 3 and downward arrow right so all the lines we have drawn all the lines are less than equal to so all uh, lines will be shown down arrow towards the origin if it is greater than or equal to it would have been upward right here it is downward now this line says the feasible region is down this line says it is down this line says it is down so this is the feasible region this is the feasible region the shaded region is the feasible region and what are the corner points touching the feasible region o p q r s these are the corner points which are touching the feasible region and our solution lies at one of the corner point touching the feasible region so the corner points touching the feasible region are o p q r s the coordinates of these corner points are o p q r s o o means origin at origin always the coordinates are 0 0 x is 0 y is 0 for p for p no need to calculate by observation we can see x is 0 y is 600 because this is the y y it is 600 x is 0 so here x 0 y 600 now q and r the coordinates of q and r can be ascertained by solving the equations of these two lines the two lines are intersecting at p at q and r so we have to search which two lines are intersecting solving those two lines we can get the coordinates of q and r now s no need to calculate by inspection we can get the value we can get the coordinates of s the x value is 900 and the y value is 0 so 900 comma 0 these are the coordinates of s the only thing is we have to calculate the coordinates of q and r so here the coordinates of q and r can be ascertained by solving the equations first we'll see q at the point of q which are the two lines intersecting you find out the two lines intersecting are these two that means second inequality and third inequality so uh, the two lines intersecting at the point q are second and third so what is the second inequality here 7x plus 12y is equal to 8400 and third is 6x plus 16y is equal to 9600 this is the third second and third inequality. by solving these two we can get the value we can get the coordinates of q right now we can cancel either x or y we can cancel it only when the coefficient is same but here the coefficient is 7 here the coefficient is 6 so we have to make both equal so how we can make both equal the first equation will be multiplied by 6 and the second equation will be multiplied by 7 so 7 6 is 42 6 7 is 42 right so we get 42 multiplying equation 1 by 6 the first equation will be multiplied by 6 second equation will be multiplied by 7 so what it will become 6 into 7 6 7 is 42 here 42 x so 6 into 12 is 72 72 y 6 into 8400 you will get 50400 second inequality should be multiplied by 7 7 into 6 7 6 is 42 7 into 16 you will get 112 y 7 into 9600 you will get 67400 so we have multiplied first equation second equation right now this uh, change the sign minus 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 plus 42x minus 42x will get cancelled plus 72 minus 112 you will get minus 40y 
50,400 minus 67,200, you'll get minus 16,800. So minus is there on LHS and RHS, cancelled. So 40Y is equal to 16,800. Y is equal to 16800 by 40, you will get 420. So we got the value of Y420. Now substitute the value of Y in any one of these equations. Suppose I am substituting the value in the first equation. 7X plus 12Y is equal to 8400. Now we got the value of Y. So in place of Y, I am taking 420. Right? So 7X plus 12 into 420, 5040 is equal to 8000. Take this 5040 to RHS, the so plus will become minus. So 7x is equal to 3360, x is equal to 3360 divided by 7. So x is equal to 480. We got the value of x and we got the value of y. For which coordinate, for which uh, corner point? Q. So we got the coordinates of Q. Coordinates of Q are x is 480 and y is 420. 480, 420. That's it. Similarly, we have to calculate the coordinates of R. Right? Now see which are the two lines intersecting at R. This is the R point. Now which are the two lines intersecting at R? You can observe here second inequality and first inequality. First and second inequalities or equations are intersecting at R. So solve the first and second equation. The two lines intersecting at R are first and second. The first equation is 11x. See here. 11x plus 9y is equal to 9900. First equation. Second equation is 7x plus 12y. Here. 7x plus 12y is equal to 8400. Now we have to solve these two equations to get the value of x and y for coordinate R. Now, in order to cancel x, the coefficient should be same. Here the coefficient is 11. Here the coefficient is 7. So directly we cannot cancel. Both we have to make, this, make it same. So what we will do? The first equation will be multiplied by 7. And the second equation will be multiplied by 11. So 7 into 11, 77. And 11 into 7, 77. Right? In both ways we will get 77. We can cancel. So here I have written multiplying equation 1 by 7 and equation 2 by 11. So first equation 7. 7 into 11. 7 11 is 77 x. Plus uh, 7 into 9. 7 9 is 63 y. Is equal to 7 into 9900. You will get 69,300. So first inequality I have multiplied by 7. The second equation will be multiplied by 11. So 11 into 7 is 77 x right 11 into 12 you will get 132 y and 11 into 8400 you'll get 92400 now change the sign minus 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 so 77 x minus 77 x will get cancelled now 63 minus 132 you'll get minus 69 y 69 300 minus 92 400 will get minus 23100 so minus is there on both the sides. Cancel. So 69 y is equal to 23 100. y is equal to 23 100 by 69. 334.78. So we round it off to 335. So y is equal to 335. Substituting the value of y in first equation. The first equation is 11x plus 9y is equal to 9900. Now in place of y. I am writing 335. I got 335. So 11x plus 9 into 335, 3015. Now take this 3015 to RHS. So plus will become minus. So 11x is equal to 6885. x is equal to 6885 by 11. You will get 626. So we got the value of x 626. So finally the coordinates of R are 626. x value is 626. y value is 335. That's all. So we have calculated. See here. Q. For Q, the values are 480 and 420. 480, 420. These are the values for Q. And the coordinates of R, 626, 626, 335. 
that's all after getting all the coordinates now we have to evaluate the objective function to find out the value of z so this table finally i have prepared so evaluation of objective function corner point o p q r s for all the corner points we have written the coordinates we got the coordinates now objective function is 9x plus 10y it is given in the problem here objective function 9x plus 10y now substitute the value of x and y to get z value here o oh, 0 0 x is 0 and y is 0 so 9 into 0 0 10 into 0 0 so ultimate z is 0 for o x is 0 so 9 into 0 y is 600 so 10 into 600 it becomes 6000 10 into 600 is 6000 now q x is 480 and y is 420 so 9 into 480 plus 10 into 420 you'll get 8520 similarly r x is 626 y is 335 so 9 into 626 10 into 335 you get 8984 lastly s x is 900 y is 0 so 9 into 900 plus 10 into 0 so it, it will become 8100 that's all we got all the values of z now find out which value of z is the highest the highest value of z is 8984 the highest value of z is 8984 for which corner point? For the corner point R. So at R, what are the values of X? X is 626 and Y is 335. X is equal to 626 and Y is 335. That's all. The final answer, the ultimate answer is X is equal to 626, Y is equal to 335 and the maximum Z is 8984. That's all. So this is the end of problem number four so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah the next problem will continue in the next video